Finally, an IT YouTuber who makes sense in suggesting beginner level certifications. So the title of this video is do not follow this outdated roadmap into IT. A plus, network plus, CCNA, and MCSA. Now for those who are not familiar with MCSA, MCSA stands for Microsoft Certified System Administrator. Think of this as the CCNA of Microsoft certifications. It was so popular way back, but has been retired since January 31 of 2021. You see, most IT YouTubers, they will tell you to take or promote A plus and Network plus. Well, CCNA, we'll talk about it more later. What I'm talking about are these guys. Yeah, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this, this, and many others. You see, I respect their opinion, of course, but we also need to consider a different perspective. Now, this guy, his name is Asa Abu Sharif. And apologies if I mispronounce your name. He is a CCIE, and yeah, obviously he's not biased. So, let's watch some of the highlights of his video and see why his suggestions align with some of my recommended recommended IT certifications. Now let's begin. At networking, you need to get A+, and then Server+, and then Network+, and then CCNA, and then you start applying for jobs. If that is what you have been told, and this is what you are considering, please stop. All right. Um, what can I say? I totally agree, except for CCNA. There is a long list why you need to take CCNA, or Cisco Certified Network Associate, even if you're going for a cloud-related role. Well, first, it's popularity. Many positions, even cloud-related positions, require CCNA certification and knowledge. Yeah, recruiters and HRs add the certification in the job posting for whatever purpose. Now, second, as a certified instructor of both Cisco and AWS, there are many parts of AWS or cloud service provider that are related to networking. And studying networking basics alone is not enough. You need hands-on, you need to configure routers and switches in order to fully understand networking. If you attend an official AWS course, you won't gain a deep understanding of networking concepts. It's not enough, as they typically allocate two to three hours for it. And lastly, there are many hybrid cloud setup where you need to have both cloud and on-prem skills. But yeah, I agree. You can drop A plus and Network Plus certifications. I highly recommend not to get these two certifications at all. More explanation on this video. Now, let's continue. Demand and the real future and the future proof career is not in networking or anything that has to do with networking. The future proof career is in cloud, DevOps, AI, machine learning, and data science. And for these, you don't need CCNA, you don't need Network Plus, you don't need A Plus, you don't need... You forgot security or cybersecurity as one of the future-proof career. And data science? Do you think it's a future-proof career? I don't think so. But yeah, I agree. You don't need A Plus, Network Plus, CCNA for DevOps, AI, machine learning, and data science. But again, CCNA is relevant to cloud, especially hybrid cloud. Here's a great discussion with Neil Anderson about AWS certifications comparing with CCNA. All right, at six minute mark, let's- So right now, there are 4 million certification issued by Cisco. Mostly, they're going to be in the beginner and the intermediate. These are not CCIEs. These are not the expert level certificates. So now the 4 million certificates are going to be competing with you. So if you invest in A+, Network+, Plus, CCNA path to start your career, you're going to be competing with maybe 1 million, 2 million other certified people. So there is plenty of them in your country already. And ask about 10 years ago, what were the networking salaries and what <coughs> are they really? today? And contrast that, compare that to cloud and DevOps in your country 
or in the country you are planning to work in and you will find the difference. So these are going down while these are going up because the demand here is much more than the supply while in networking the demand is way All right, this is true. Network engineer position. And when we say network engineering position, um, these are routing and switching role. Well, that was before. Um, nowadays, most network engineers don't, don't only do networking. Most of the time, it includes automation, security, virtualization, etc. Now, for the 4 million Cisco certifications, I would estimate half of those, or even more, more than half of those 4 million certified uh, Cisco professionals are certification holders from other vendors and technologies as well. You probably have VMware, Juniper, Arista, F5, what else, Comtia, AWS even, and many others. Also, there are some Cisco certifications or certified people that focuses on DevOps and cloud. To know more about it, kindly watch this video. Moving on, at 7 minute 15 seconds. 5 to mark. 7 years. And you'll find here that the networking growth is moderate to steady growth. Why? Because traditional networking is evolving but not growing as fast as cloud and DevOps. Cloud and DevOps are much faster. Challenges for the networking. Shifting to cloud reduces some on-prem network complexities. We don't need the advanced people and advanced knowledge in networking and also Automation in networking will lessen the requirement for networking people. While in cloud computing, it's explosive growth. The job market is high demand and the focus areas are multi-cloud and hybrid cloud, migrating and connecting data centers to the cloud, AI and machine learning, serverless computing, and cloud security and compliance. Job market, high demand for cloud architects, engineers, and cloud security experts. And it's rapidly expanding tools The AWS provider, the Azure provider, and the Google provider. Cloud is the hottest and most in-demand field with strong long-term growth. So you should invest in what is going up. You should not invest in what's going down. DevOps, strong and accelerating. Why? Because of CI and, and so on. Focus areas, automation, observability and monitoring, and infrastructure and platform engineering. DevOps is often blended with cloud roles. Um, all right, what can I say? Yeah, this is true. Networking is moderate to steady growth, while cloud computing is explosive growth. I also agree that network automation will lessen the requirements of network engineering positions or network engineering opportunities. But it doesn't mean that you don't need CCNA knowledge, especially working on hybrid clouds. But to be fair, cloud and DevOps special cloud and DevOps specialization, excuse me, is way better than network engineering. And yes, AWS or cloud or other cloud service providers are always almost present when you talk about cloud and DevOps. Here are the two videos that talks about Cisco certifications and AWS certifications. So first, we have AWS certifications are better than Cisco certifications. And we also have cloud engineering is better than network engineering. Okay, moving on. Field, you have no background in IT, you have no preference, and you don't want to go into networking, but people told you that you need to get into networking, take A+, Network+, plus, Server+, plus, and then take the CCNA. Do they have to achieve or study Network+, plus? CCNA before venturing into cloud DevOps, AI and machine learning and ML ops. So now you are heading into the hot fields with no background, but people told you, you have to start with networking. You have to be CCNA, you have to be network plus certified, A plus certified, and then you can go into the hot fields. The short answer is no, you don't need to study network. Yeah, most DevOps, AI and machine learning engineers yeah, most of them, because I know people personally, most of them are programmers or Linux administrators. And yes, you don't need CCNA. But again, CCNA is still a good certification 
for a cloud engineering role or someone who's specializing in cloud security or even most part of cybersecurity. And when I say cybersecurity, there are many roles and specializations, not just one. To know more about cybersecurity roles and specialization and cloud, cer cloud security certifications, kindly watch these two videos. But for DevOps, yeah, you can drop CCNA. Focus on Linux and Kubernetes, Docker and Kubernetes. I recommend you to take Linux Plus, then CKA or Certified Kubernetes Administrator. Then get these AWS certifications, especially the AWS Certified DevOps Professional. Or kindly watch this video. Now, let's watch the last. And the goal is to skip the deep Cisco style networking and focus only on what matters. That's what you need to do. Do not listen to who's telling you Network Plus, A Plus, uh, CCNA, and CCNP with Cisco. Forget about that. Mm -hmm. Learn enough networking that you need for cloud and DevOps. That's it. Again, cloud and hybrid cloud, you need CCNA. Actually, it's not just CCNA. It's not enough. Uh, you need also F5CA big IP knowledge for application delivery controller or application load balancing. Uh, what else? Virtualization, okay, is also quite important. It's actually even more important. And uh, I understand this. There are the reason why he's dropping CCNA, and this is all facts. There are many CCNA concepts that you don't really need into the cloud, like STP or spanning tree protocol. What else? Cabling, trunking, or any port level configuration, because. You don't look at, you don't configure ports when you're managing cloud. But again, to understand hybrid cloud better, CCNA, not enough. I actually, it's actually better to move to another level. Go to CCNP and for your CCNP exams, take Encore with ENCC specialization or concentration. This would be something that I highly recommend. Here's another podcast discussion about CCNP combo on core plus ENC. Now for DevOps, AI and machine learning. Yeah, I agree. You don't need CCNA. That's why Linux knowledge or Linux certification is pound for pound more important than CCNA. Complete comparison of this. Watch this video. I am curious, I'm wondering why he didn't even mention any Linux certifications. Do you think it's also important? 